conspiracy theory fallacy. This fallacy is used typically to rebut a legitimate argument that someone else makes. It's, it's meant to just embarrass them and put them down. And so if someone says that company and that advertiser and the local congressman all conspired to, I don't know, increase corn syrup sales. Well, that is in fact a conspiracy. It is a theory and it is true. So just because some people conspired does not make something untrue. It is handy to say, oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. Well, there are in fact some conspiracy theorists who have come up with some theories that are absolutely wrong, ludicrous, out there, but there are millions of conspiracies that exist or have existed throughout mankind's existence on Earth, and there are theories about those conspiracies. Most conspiracies are well hidden. When some people get together and conspire something, they usually try not to leave any evidence. And so then later people see things happening in a peculiar way and they come up with theories. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. It is up to each person to decide this, to look at the evidence logically, with reason, and then come up with a conclusion. But if you have a pretty good theory about something, don't just let someone shut you down by saying, it's a conspiracy, you're a conspiracy theorist. That would be the conspiracy theory fallacy.